ఈ థౌజండ్ టీచింగ్స్ బై శ్రీ ఆది శంకరాచార్య ఉపదేశ సహస్రి చాప్టర్ సిక్స్టీన్ కన్సిస్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఎర్త్ ఈజ్ బీయింగ్ కంటిన్యూడ్ సిక్స్టీ త్రీ సిమిలర్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో నాట్ రీజనబుల్ దట్ లిబరేషన్ ఈజ్ అ చేంజ్ ఆఫ్ కండిషన్ ఆన్ ది పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది సెల్ఫ్ యాజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ చేంజ్ లెస్ ఇఫ్ హవ్ ఎవర్ ఎనీ చేంజ్ బీ అజ్యూమ్డ్ టు ఎగ్జిస్ట్ ఇన్ ఇట్ ఇట్ మస్ట్ బీ అడ్మిటెడ్ టు కో ఎగ్జిస్ట్ to it must be admitted to consist of parts and so to be destructible like jars and others 67 60 no 64 65 66 67 therefore the conception of bondage and liberation different from this is wrong the conceptions of the sankhyas the kanadas the kanadas and the buddhists are them about them are not tenable according to reason they should never be accepted for they are not supported by reason and the scriptures hundreds and thousands of error in their part may be mentioned as the scriptures other than the vedas have been condemned in the ancient sacred tradition scriptures other than these they should not be accepted a wise man should give up the teachings of such scriptures and all crookedness and with faith and devotion should have a firm understanding of the true import of the vedantas accepted by vyasa 68 false doctrines of dualism and those according to which the self is not admitted have thus been refuted by reasoning so that those who aspire after liberation may be steady in the path of knowledge descript- described in the vedantas and be free from doubts arising from other doctrines 69 having attained the extremely pure non dual knowledge which is its own witness and contrary to what is superimposed a man perfectly convinced of the truth of the self becomes free from ignorance and gets eternal peace 70 those who are free from defects and vanity should always fix their mind on brahman which is always the same after having a firm grasp of the knowledge which arises only through the teacher and the vedas and is the supreme goal for no man who knows brahman to be different from himself is a knower of truth 71 when he acquires this knowledge the supreme purifier a man becomes free from all merits and demerits produced by ignorance and accumulated in many other past births he like the ether does not get attached to actions in this world 72 this knowledge should be imparted only to him whose mind has been pacified who has controlled his senses and is freed from all defects who has practiced the duties enjoined by the scriptures had is possessed of good qualities who is always obedient to the teacher and aspires only after liberation and nothing else 73 just as one is free from the ideas of me and mine in respect of others bodies so one becomes free from those ideas in respect of one's own body when one knows the supreme truth one becomes immediately liberated in all respects on attaining this very pure knowledge 74 there is no attainment higher than that of self knowledge in the worlds of men and gods it arises from nothing but the vedantas this knowledge superior even to the kingdom of indra should therefore not be imparted to any person without examining him carefully chapter 17 right knowledge 1 the the self is to be known it is beyond everything knowable as there exists nothing else except it i bow down to that pure all knowing and omniscient one which is to be known two i always bow down to those teachers who are conversant with words sentences and sources of knowledge and who like the lamps have shown clearly to us brahman the secret of the vedas 3 i bow down to my teacher whose words fell into my ears and destroyed ignorance 
in me like the sun's rays falling on darkness and destroying it i shall now state the reasoning lead reasoning leading to the right conclusion about the knowledge of brahman for there is no other attainment higher than that of the self for that is the purpose for which the teaching of the vedas the smritis and the actions described in the work portion of the vedas are there 5 the acquisition on the part of oneself considered to be a source of happiness produces the opposite result also it is for this reason that the knower of brahman say that the greatest acquisition is that of the self as it is eternal 6 of the nature of being always attained the self does not depend on anything else in order to be acquired the acquisition that depends on other things is due to ignorance and so vanishes when the means to which it is due vanish 7 the conception of the existence of the non self is what is called ignorance the destruction of which is known to be liberation this destruction is possible by means of knowledge only which is incompatible with ignorance compatible with ignorance actions cannot be des- cannot destroy it 8 that actions produced by desires caused by ignorance give rise to results which are perishable and that knowledge produces an imperishable result are known to are known on the evidence of the vedas 9 the learned know the vedas to be one continuous whole the only purpose of which is to demonstrate one thing which knowledge in as much as the oneness of the self is to be known by the understanding of the vedic sentences 10 one may object that brahman and the individual self are different from each other as they are the means of they are the meanings of two words which are not synonymous the objection is not reasonable in as much as one has one has to know the difference between the words from that between their meanings and the difference between their meanings from the difference between the words therefore the objector is led to the fallacy of reciprocal dependence so no difference between them can be accepted there being no vedic evidence objection as the shruti states there things besides the self with names forms and actions it evidently supports the existence of things other than the self 11 12 reply as they are interdependent like a painting and a description of it they are unreal so the whole of the universe is really non existent but exists only for a deluded intellect 13 it is therefore reasonable that this universe is unreal existence knowledge only is real existing prior prior to everything it is both the knower and the known it is the forms only that are unreal 14 15 existence knowledge through which all things in dream are known is the knower it is the same entity that is known in dream by maya it is the same consciousness through which one sees hears speaks smells tastes touches and thinks in that state is respectively called the eye the ear the larynx the auditive organ the tongue the organ of touch and the mind similarly it is the same consciousness that becomes in a dream the other organs also functioning variously 16 just as the same jewel assumes different colors owing to its proximity to different colored things so pure consciousness assumes different forms on account of various adjuncts which are superimposed on it in dream 17 as in dream so in the waking state different forms are superimposed on this consciousness it manifests the objects of the intellect when it performs actions produced by desires due to delusion 18 the events in the waking state are similar to those in dream the ideas of the interior and exterior in the former state is as unreal as in the later like reading and writing depending on each other 
when the self manifests different objects it desires to have them and accordingly there arises in it a determination to acquire those objects it then meets with those particular results of actions done according to particular desires followed by particular determinations 20 unperceived in deep sleep but perceived in waking and dream by those only who are ignorant the whole of this universe is an outcome of ignorance and therefore unreal to be continued om namah shivaya